Hey all, it's David Fuxa. Last time we made it through the first three missions of Nod's campaign. And now we're going to be making it toward the fourth. So here we are at the end of mission three. Capturing the prison camp. We'll skip this, we already watched it. So that's all done and out of the way we've already seen all that. Next mission takes us to Chad. So that Nock can consolidate all his territories into a unified whole. So I'm not sure how exactly this works, but apparently there's supposed to be two missions for mission four. They're both basically the same thing. You're basically fighting a civil war and killing civilians or helping civilians and all that. Um, let's go here, and I'll skip this before I, well, it's gone through it. So, this is the alternate, um, mission four mission, the, you know, last time we were in the, um, well, you saw basically the, uh, the campaign briefing at the end of the last video, if you watched. So restate, GDI is attempting to relocate a village of sympathetic civilians, intercept the convoy, and destroy it. It is imperative that the villagers be totally destroyed, as a lesson to any other natives who may oppose us. So, that's based on the mission, you're out to kill off a bunch of natives who are trying to be evacuated by GDI. We have a few less, you know, guys compared to the other mission, but, same deal. I actually want to get my infantry moving a little bit further because they're cannon fire in this, more or less. Oh! Okay, that went very horribly for me, but... That's to be expected. The thing about grenadiers is that they actually are kind of uh, deadly when used right, as you can see. I have to watch out for that. Let's go find our civilian buddies, wherever they are, and kill them. Hopefully this is the right way. Okay, you kill those guys. Basically doing what I did with the um, other things before, I guess. I'm actually losing a lot of my crucial infantry killing guys. But whatever. The battle begins! The massacre! Civilians can't fight the forces of Nod. I'm actually being very careful because um, I believe you're supposed to be an APC for GDI in this mission. Yes, Fleeing civilians! Kill all civilians! Yes. 
I'm surprised that the GI APC hasn't come, or perhaps it's already in here, and we'll kill it in a moment. You know, I never got why they made so civilian pistols were so weak in this game. I realize that pistols are weaker weapons than like rifles and stuff, but they should still be able to do a little bit of damage, I think. It actually persists in Tiberium Sun, too. Kill that civilian. Now let's keep killing all these buildings. I got plenty of rocket troopers, so... Destroying the civilians isn't actually all, all that hard. Why not? We'll sp spread the love around. And the missiles fly. That'd probably be enough of all to finish that off. But this switch around to fun. What will I destroy next? Who knows? Hey look, just Tiberium. That's actually why I think the GDI were evacuating this village, because there's encroaching Tiberium and uh, they're basically saving the civilians from their Tiberium fate. Oh, there's the APC I was worried about. Hey, look, civilians in the APC. Yes, sir. Not a well, APC's out of the way. Let's take out the rest and see if hopefully these four guys that have left is enough to kill the rest of the civilians. It should be. They're usually fairly liberal with giving you troops, I find, in the Nog campaign. They die quite a bit easily, though, because they're lightly armored, the Nog troops. But if you use them right, then you usually don't have much trouble with that. Okay, we should be finding a few more you know, structures across the uh, road, I think, but... There's a the first part of the village wiped out. And that's pretty much it. Very easy mission. Took me 10 minutes to do that mission. Blah blah blah, I killed a bunch of stuff. So I take Chad, a little bit of Ethiopia. And then we do a mass attack all the way to Mar Martyrs on the uh, western west coast of uh, Africa. Martin China. So, government Islam Islamic Republic, 50% expandability. The point of conflict is Tijikdeka, all these you know lovely Af African names. Military strength is laughable, military resistance is 24%. Before you can truly shape the future, you must first possess the past. Assimilate our history, for it is your own. Kate wants you to view this. Accessing Brotherhood Archives. The Brotherhood 
desires a world of peace, unity, and eternal brotherhood. The brotherhood springs from the lowest of places, offering unity and peace to otherwise neglected and abused nations. Tiberian heralds the dawn of a new age. The brotherhood embraces this age, harvesting Tiberium to further expand our collective beliefs. Tiberium continues to confound the scientific community, soaking up ground minerals and soil nutrients like a sponge. The end result of this unique leaching process creates the formation of Tiberium crystals, rich in precious metals and available for collection with a minimum of mining expense. I have good news. While I was at a top-level briefing with Kane, I made mention of your accomplishments and efforts. He is somewhat impressed, and is interested to see how you handle your next assignment. Kane needs Niger, and his personal commander is massing an assault through Algeria. We need to be assured that GDI's Agen Warthogs, flying out of Lagos, do not hinder his progress. Your goal is to set up surface-to-air missile batteries and destroy the GDI airbase. You have caught King's eye, and he is watching. Do not fail me. I should probably note, you should pay a lot of attention to what Seth says, and what Kane says eventually when you get to him. That, like, quote, like, you know, you must first, like, you know, hold the past before you can shape the future. And, like, other quotes, like, are very important, I find. To sort of get into the feel of what this game's all about. Alright, let's just, uh, map this out already. I want to make sure I'm not, um... It looks like we can build a base here easily enough, so... We will build a base here easily enough. Yeah, this is like the bottom of the map, I think. Alright, well, save this mission. Start with mission 5. Nod. Mission 5. Start. And, just because I feel like it, we're going to jump back into the other mission 4 for Nod. And we'll play this one. So this time we start off with five knot buggies, three knot uh, recon bikes, and a bunch of soldiers. Let's have fun. So this one's a little bit different than the other one. Whereas the other one was you're just killing civilians in GDI. A small village friendly to our cause has been increasingly harassed by GDI, and the Brotherhood wishes to assist them in their efforts. Seek out the enemy village and destroy it. The event will be disguised as a GDI attack. So if you basically get the idea. We're trying to protect a Nod village from GDI. Oh, we got a medium tank. So we have medium tanks to worry about this time around. That should be fun. Get these guys across this uh, little river. Kill the GDI that pops out. I'm actually concerned about the medium tank, so we're actually going to look around for it a little bit. I'm also looking for a Nod Village in this area, too. There's that medium tank. Oh. Chase this buggy. Chase this buggy. 
Chase that guy buggy for a tank. Whoopsie. Getting squishy in this one. Let's push this way, see if the uh, tank leads us anything beneficial going this way. Kill a grand deer. So unlike with, um, I believe, the GGI side when you're playing with APCs, these guys seem to pop out of um, APCs when the APC blows up. Well, I increasingly cross the map here. You still got guys to fight. Alright. I'm pretty sure this is a GDI village since we're able to attack it. There is a not village I think in the area, but primarily want to kill this one first. Since we found it. Actually, I'm pretty sure he's actually sending his troops that were attacking the Nod Village over here to me. Okay, these guys are getting too close, so they have to die. Don't want the buggy dying. Anyone else want some? Maybe not villages down that direction. Ah, uh, let's try this. We're gonna send this one little buggy over here. We'll scout around with him. Maybe we'll find uh, the Nod Village. These guys will just stick to attacking the GGI's village over here. I got time to explore, right? So. Oh, a GGI soldier popped out of his village. Ah, here we go. So, down the, in this vicinity, we'll find the Nod Village, the Nod Friendlies. So, it literally is a civil war, and GDI is on one side of the civil war, and you're on the other. And GDI was attacking their village, but... Hey, look, we have a civilians.
the civilians can't do anything. Hey, I killed him! So yeah, that's mission four on the other side, so... If you want to, you can, like, you know, save the not-village while attacking the GDI village, or you can just go attack only a GDI village. I like the other one a lot better, actually. Alright, nothing. You know what, why not? Let's just, like, jump right back in here and... We're just gonna restart that other mission that I was starting. I was gonna, like, just jump right back to it from this, but whatever, we'll just... Do like this. Skip this. Not sure I have to move the um, construction yard at all, but let's just do that anyways. We'll map out a little bit with the recon bikes. Because guess what recon bikes stand for? Hey look, an enemy soldier, anti-brium. Alright, let's move these guys up here. I'm not sure how this map is sort of positioned, but it looks like we're at the bottom, so... Oh, we're at the bottom corner, so yeah, I do want to sort of spread out my guys like this. I can build up our airstrip, finally. This little water bunker down here. Or grand ear to worry about, but yes, sir. went back, I guess. Alright, we'll send this guy over there. I actually like the later versions of um, CNC to actually let you see the map. They no longer have like a stupid shroud type of idea. They just have... There's a mini-map. You can see everything on the mini-map. There is no hidden stuff. Or if they do have like the hidden like fog of war type of idea, it doesn't like cover anything. Uh build that there. So, to look at this mission again, our brothers within GDI tell us of A-10 strike jets scheduled to be deployed here soon. Our suppliers have delivered new surface-to-air missiles to aid you use the SAMs to defend your base, then seek out their base and destroy it. Oops, I don't want to destroy the Tiberium. Alright, looks like I do have to worry about this little ridge down here. Gee, I might send, like, a artillery-type unit to um, have to be dealt with in the future. Alright, so, send this guy down this way, looks like there's a little water that way. There is a rig here, but it looks like, you know, if I'm quick enough, I can, like, defeat anything that comes this way. Moving out. Moving out. Moving out. 
More Tiberium up here. Lots and lots of water. Alright, so we have access to recon bikes, not buggy, and light tank. And as you can see, they're all a lot cheaper than the GDI stuff. There is, however, something I know about the cheaper price. Nods um, units are actually a lot weaker than GDI's units, so this light tank, you know, it won't stand up to a medium tank. And a not buggy is actually even weaker than the Humvee. There's my troops, I can get flamethrowers. Let's build one of them, why not? And I can build SAM sites. And SAM sites are actually kind of important to build. So here's a flamethrower. Technically this guy's stronger than the Grenadier, but he's also very, you know, deadly to your own troops if you don't position right, so you have to watch the use of the flamethrower. put these guys down. I'm actually spraying these guys out a little bit because I believe in mission 5 and onward you have to start worrying about um, GDI airstrikes, kind of like you know how you have access to them in the GDI campaign. GDI has access to them against you in a NOG campaign. And they hurt. Airstrikes hurt, remember that. Okay, I remember that there was a troop over here, so let's send yes, sir. these guys to deal with it, and I can explore up here a little bit. Oh, I wasn't looking, paying attention, but here comes a force from this direction. Send this guy up. And the flames of war! But yeah, I have to watch it because this guy will do friendly fire on anything that he hits. The light tank, I don't care about too much because the light tank is resistant to fire, but troops, this guy will melt your troops if you're not careful with the flame roar. Alright, well, killed those uh, troops that came. Let's just go look around here. The thing about to know about the African campaign maps is that they're actually kind of interesting how they're like set up. They don't have like the sort of like rigidness of the European theater, so to speak. If you played Warcraft, um, the original Warcraft, it's kind of like the Swamplands, how the Af African theater works. You have like these pools of water here and there. Sometimes they like go you know, like you know entirely down like the, the map, but more often not through these giant lakes. And apparently we now have a uh, GI Snook coming here. And we got five Grenadiers. I actually am kind of scared about five Grenadiers. They can hurt. So we'll send flamethrowers at them. By the way, two flamethrowers is a really de deadly combination to send at anything. I'll only demonstrate by sending it two um, flamethrowers together at these grenadiers. By the way, there's an airstrike. Oh, they're dead. There's a good reason why I only sent two, because if they explode next to each other, they'll kill, you know, they'll kill other stuff around them. Ah, 
Oh, that guy's coming down this way. Alright, so I do have airstrikes to worry about, so that's going to be a bit of a concern. I actually want to separate these guys as much as possible, so if airstrikes come, I don't lose, like, you know, I don't have, like, all the stuff going hit my air, my recon bikes with the airstrike. I actually don't mind to hit my um, light tank, but it's a concern, basically. Now luckily these guys, these rocket troops, can't fire at aircraft, so I don't mind if like I leave these guys up here, sort of. I probably should build another two flamethrowers as like a sort of killing defense, I guess, against enemy infantry. And we'll build not buggy at this point. Yeah, this recon bike is spendable. Let's we'll send our recon bike friend up to explore a little bit up here. Jam to the music, will ya? I'm jammed to it. Alright, I remember this map, sort of. I think down this direction we have, like, a guard tower. So, I don't want to go too far down it. This is just, like, you know, sort of a stopgap to find out what may come down in that direction. I'm not sure this up here goes too far, this little path. Yeah, there's like the base down there. That's, I believe, the weapon factory right there. I suppose I don't really care if I lose this recon bike, so why not just see, show you the, the guard tower you'll get destroyed by? Yep, there's the base. And I can drive into the base. And there's the guard tower, there's the barracks, the weapon factory, assault troops he's sending. Got myself a buggy. One moment. Alright, had discussion time there for a moment. We are under attack by GDI forces. And I think um, what I'm going to do here, we're going to send these infantry up here. We'll actually get a couple of pot shits on the Grenadier. I'll have these guys move in. And they're all dead. Because there's like a very limited gap over here for you guys to like, you know, forces to come, I think I'll move this guy over a little bit. I'm actually not sure we're going to place a SAM site. And I actually want a refinery, so we're going to actually start building that. And 
and we got some more grenadiers and medium tank finally coming. He finally sent in the big boys. So we'll send these guys down. And I'm actually going to send these infantry at the medium tank. Oh boy, he's saying a lot of those. Up oh, there we go. He's actually saying the medium tank to attack me down the ridge. And here we go. It's actually doing a split attack on me. Uh, I guess he didn't like being attacked. Up on that medium tank, but now we've lost that one. I should move these guys up here. Right now he's chasing after my recon bike, I think, so. Move you into back of base. Move these guys over here. You know, I actually find that Sam sites can be kind of useless, but I figure I like just build them for this mission because Sam, you know, Sam sites are actually kind of helpful in this mission, kind of. Oof, more troops. Build that here. Destroy this medium tank. Well, we lost two, those two flame, you know, troopers up there, but oh well. I'm not sure, but I think these guys are, you know, kind of squishable. Yeah, they don't seem to move too much. I should build a couple flame troopers, I guess, to sort of help me out killing these guys. Send in the flame trooper. That was worth it. I'm gonna damage this thing. This guy's being stupid, but whatever. It is dead. It is done. Uh, we'll move these three down here. I'm actually gonna build. Two guys for over here, I guess. I'm with the light tank, the knob buggy, our recon bike down into the middle of our base, sort of.
build this here. I'm actually gonna build another SAM site right here. Um, now, I'm not sure, but I think SAM sites in the original Command Conquer still work actually when you run out of power. Not sure if they do, but it could be in Red Alert and not the original. Either way, this is like just a good demonstration of what you can expect from using SAM sites like this. So I built a medium tank up there. He's got his guard tower and infantry. I don't want to expend my guys exploring at the moment, so I'm sort of in a stage where I'm just sort of, you know, waiting. You'll notice that with the initial non-missions, it's actually kind of hard to um, conserve your forces because not such a, you know, attack heavy light um, armor type of faction. They're really meant for hit and run, not to stay in one place like this and take hits. They'll work fine. I mean, they will, as you can see, hold their own. So to speak. I'm actually tempted to put in our silo or yeah, missile SAM site thing Building. right there. Okay, let's go do a little bit of exploring. Um, I think we'll go up here. There's GGI's Harvester. There's our guard tower. If I want to, I could attack that Harvester and kill it. And I'll note, with um, Nod, the easiest way to kill the GGI faction is usually to attack their Harvester. You'll find that like, recon bikes will just tear through it, and they're very quick to you know hit and run, so to speak, so... I'm actually tempted to go up to that bridge and explore a little bit, so... Damn, that's the infantry. Kill him. So it looks like we got a civilian right in the midst of our uh, battle scene. Yeah, I, I'm not even looking at the guy I'm building. I'm just, at this point, popping out troops like no one's business. Oh, he sent a medium tank to say hi. Nope, not going to chase me, so... Let's get this guy to come out. Or what the GI plan will be here. Attack me head on or no? Yep, he's saying a tank down again. Put these guys down this way. Well, that uh, got their attention. Let's see if these guys can. Uh, yes, sir. That help did not help very well. See, I'd be very 
useful with how you like sort of use your troops. You're dead. That guy's still chasing us. There's a army of tank coming at us. Guess we'll start building a few tanks now. Ah, we'll move these three up here. Why not? We're gonna send these guys this way. You're attacking my refinery, you bastard! No, he's attacking my stamp site. Whoa! So yeah, I... you can destroy these, like you know, as they come towards your base. But they usually will hit something before they hit stuff, and not too, you know. Stamp sites are great, but they don't seem to work too well. The sort of thwart uh, attacks on, like you know, the outskirts of your base, like that. And that seems like to be how GI likes to attack you in the not campaign. It'll attack you at the front, not really at the back or anything. Another lovely village I can attack. There may be some civilian casualties with uh, not around. Goes that way. Well, that sort of worked kind of well. Killed that medium tank. By the way, I'm pumping out a few more rocket troops because these guys are getting injured, and you'll find that on the Nod side, rocket troops are kind of useful. They do well enough that they stand on their own. Hey, you can't pop out civilian structures, you must pay for that. Kill the Jedi soldier. I'm going to keep building white tanks for a moment. I think we have enough fun killing civilians, I guess, so. Let's push on over here with these recon bikes and, and go explore up in this direction, see what's up here. Got four tanks, got five tanks. I think we'll spill a couple more recon bikes and buggies after this. This looks like a back way into their base over here. Yep, I can go up to the corner here. Moving on along here.
Hey, let's go to the construction yard if we want to attack that. There's a tank to say hi. Let's explore the rest of their base. Don't attack the construction yard, attack his tank. So if I want to, I can send my engineers down this direction. I think I will do that, actually. If I take out their construction yard, that's cool. Alright, these yes, sir. guys are coming out to play. So I'll send my forces to out to play. The medium tank with all this stuff. Okay, yes, so I have to spread these guys around a little bit so they don't get, you know, killed by um, warthogs. I'll send you out there, I guess. I'll send these guys up too. At this point, I have enough troops I can, you know, cause a stir if I need to. I have to stop building engineers and forgetting to uh, not stop building them, I guess. I'll send you up this way. Maybe I can sneak this guy into the weapon factory. Sort of what I'm going for here is, like, you know, sort of. Well, you know how like, I use the APC and capture stuff? This is where I'm just going to slowly move my guys around with Nod's forces. It should be fun. Are you guys going to get squished? Nope, you're fine. It'd be funny if like that would happen. I watched this grenadier here, but I actually kind of wish I destroyed this, but oh well. If I get rid of this, I should be able to build a ham nod right there. Then I can start pumping troops out here. That's what this ham uh, hand nod here is for. You know what? I sent this guy up the wrong way. We're gonna say you're on good enough. Another light tank built. Okay, this is going to be hard to snatch this Tiberium silo, but I should be able to uh, snatch the construction yard and get rid of that. Once I get rid of that, he can't, of course, build anything, and I get a nice big bo money boost for capturing. By the way, it, Warhogs can actually target your units specifically. I didn't um, mention that, but yeah, you can actually have your, the GDI Warthogs in the campaign target your troops specifically and kill them like that. It's not fun, but oh well. If this works, I'll start my attack, I think. Oh, 
capture this. But I can build APCs and Humvees now. Yep, I distracted him with, uh, for the flood force wasn't planned to use, but oh well. This is actually working really well. <laughs> I can build Grenadiers now. Well, I think we've won this mission. And do all the stuff that GDI has access to, APCs. You can't build a medium tank sometimes, but... Oh well. Oh, this is fun. I think we'll capture the rest of the base. Why not? We. So even though not um, do you guys the airstrikes, if you overwhelm them, just die like any other AI. And money for me! Money, money, money. More money for me. This is fun. I always find that capturing bases is really fun in the original campaign of Command and Conquer. There's mission five done. I captured the enemy base. I use stamp sites. You probably won't see me use stamp sites a lot. Probably should have saved, but oh well. I don't think we have um, a split mission, but I'm not sure. We take off quite a bit of West Africa from that little attack. Oh, we have multiple attacks, so guess what? Um, I guess I'll have to replay through uh, mission 5 again. Uh, well, let's hit, hit here, on the Ivory Coast. I was starting to trust you, but now Kane has asked for your services specifically. He thinks you can handle this. GDI has imported a nuclear detonator, and Kane's intelligence shows it hasn't even been unpacked yet. Since you seem so brilliant, sneak into the GDI base with a small task force, find the crate, and get out, if you can. And if you're lucky, I'll have a helicopter waiting for you. So, a very simple mission. This is going to be very simple to the GDI mission where basically you're trying to capture that like little crate and then get out type idea. And we have like split forces. And it's kind of, you know, different. In fact, that our forces are split in this one. All right, so restate. GIS is import a nuclear detonator in an attempt to sway a few local political leaders. Penetrate the base and steal the detonator. A chopper will be sent to meet you. 
a designated landing zone, look for a landing flare once you have stolen the device. So we're going to try to steal the device and get out. So we'll call this um, Nod Mission 6 Ivory Coast Start. And I'll probably play through Mission 5 again just to sort of, um, you know, get the other options for you. Take care for now, though.